Yeah, our reporter Christina Thompson in the courtroom said yesterday that there were about five or six disruptions. She said it was very choppy throughout the day and that the jury seemed annoyed, sometimes resting their head in their hands, sometimes rolling their eyes, sometimes whispering to each other. So not really the best day. The prosecution rested yesterday, as we know. Todd Blanche then put a motion forward to dismiss the case. Judge Mershon mm -hmm. said he will reserve a ruling on whether to dismiss before the jury can deliberate. What does he do here? This is so interesting because will the third time be the charm? This is the third motion to dismiss. The first two were he denied them out of hand. This one, a little bit different because the judge basically took it under advisement. And I will tell you right here and right now, if this were a real prosecution and not a sham prosecution, and if this judge weren't as blatantly conflicted as he was, yeah. this motion to dismiss would be granted. There is zero credible evidence to support any one of these 34 bogus charges. And if mm -hmm. this judge respected his robe and if he respected our criminal justice system, he would dismiss it immediately. But if history is going to repeat itself, he won't. He will punt this to the jury, who I trust will do the right thing. This case, I mean, if the, if the prosecution's desperation weren't any more apparent, when when you have their star witness get on the stand and not only admit to being a liar, a perjurer, but now a thief, right. what more, what depth do we need to fall to, you guys, as mm -hmm. this as a prosecution, in order to say enough is enough? Where yeah. is Alvin Bragg on larceny charges against Michael Cohen for stealing $60,000 yeah. from Donald Trump, his client? That should be a mistrial right there. And I heard yesterday... The same analysts who I'm going to play for you in a moment from CNN, they said, well, the statute of limitations. And I'm scratching my head saying, this whole case against Donald Trump, has, the statute of limitations has already expired. So you reference these, mm -hmm. these misdemeanor charges that were bumped up to the felony prong that, again, all expired. But CNN yesterday, the horse was out of the barn over there in their studios because they were like, ugh, Michael Cohen, big mistake for the prosecution. Take a listen. He committed larceny. It's a higher degree of a felony than what Donald Trump is charged with, yet they gave Michael Cohen a free pass, even though he's now admitted that he stole what amounts to $60,000. It goes to his credibility. It goes to his relationship with the DA. This has given such ammunition as to possibly fatally undermine the prosecution's case. Yeah. So far, there is no direct link proven beyond a reasonable doubt to the defendant in this alleged conspiracy. They knew about this. They minimized it. The prosecutor misled this jury. That's what I would argue. Are you allowed to say that? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Jonna, you're the expert. You're the attorney. Uh, did the prosecution make a mistake not knowing that Cohen was a thief to the tune of $60,000 before they put him up there on the stand again for day four? First of all, they knew, right? There is nothing about this star witness that they didn't know. They coached him repeatedly. They dug in. They absolutely knew. But... Let's benefit of the doubt. Let's say they were blindsided by this revelation, this little nugget of thievery. What the prosecution could have and should have done, they could they could have immediately made a motion to dismiss their own case in the interest of justice. It happens. And they should have done that if they had egg all over their face, but they didn't. This is part of the plan they knew all along, which is one of the reasons why when this case is over and eventually it will end. It, don't get me started because it should end this week, not next, next week, but that's a whole other topic. When this case is over, we need to make darn sure that Donald Trump makes it back to the White House because we have to buck against this kind of lawfare. If we do not, it not only will happen to Donald Trump, it will happen to me, it could happen to you, your husband, your wives, et cetera. We really need to take a stand. This was such a travesty of justice. Mm.